The following is a morning walk conversation with His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on October 21st, 1975, in Durban, South Africa. Krishna went to collect his Sudama with God. And all of a sudden there was cloud and rain, and there was uh, too much water they leaped and upon a tree for the whole night. Then Chandipani Muni, Sada students came and rescued them. Now we have to collect to pay the electricity bill. These things are wasted. It can be too late. And the children, they will gladly collect it. It will be like their sports. All the children will come and collect, just say. Their energy is utilized, their nature's heat is utilized, and there is no expenditure. Such why? a nice arrangement. Yes. Why they should charge for education? They will not cut the tree, the dry branches or dead tree. They will take the wood or it will help. You walk down this way, she can come. She would give up their children to Gurukul. Hmm. They would never see them for about ten years? May not see. Ten years, twenty-five. <laughs> they may go and see. Give some gifts to the Guru. In the Western countries, they criticize our Guru Kul, that this is inhuman, people sending their children away at such an early age, not seeing them. To kill? That is very human. That's <laughs> good. Keep them on their face. You rascal, you are talking of morality. Yes. Rascal, you go to hell. Your place is hell. Devils hide in scripture. <laughs> you are not you are so shameless that you do not be ashamed to speak like that. You are so shameless. Your civilization is so sinless. You are killing child in the home and you are talking in human. Let's see. We have to deal with such fools and rascals. But they say the child in the womb is not living. Hmm? They say it's not life yet. That Only is said by is you, you the tenth class rascal, you say that. No same man says that. Because you are a tenth class rascal, you have no knowledge, you say that. So called scientists, the tenth class rascals. Until the child is moving, there's no life. Moving? It's not moving? No, it doesn't move until after seven months. Then why? The dead child you cannot move. Yes. Rascal? It's developing. It's growing. That's moving on. Hmm? No, no. If moving is not there, then the dead child is also not moving. Why he is not moving? Again? 
I don't understand. A dead child comes, it is not moving. Does it come to movement again? No. Then? Oh. He is another rascal. He takes so much time to understand. <laughs> This idea of the devil citing scripture, Prabhupada, is very common. The devils are devils. They wanted to write an article about this for BTG. And everybody was sitting around giving these examples. Yes, think of a nice article. If there are no light, so you at a certain stage in the Om, where from the movement comes? If there is no light? Well, they say it, it develops to the point. But why it does not develop in a dead child? Rascal, the same child, if it comes out dead, why the movement does not develop? Well, that one already developed properly and then died. Huh? And that child already developed properly. No, the process is the same. It was not moving. At a certain stage it is moving. Similarly, if it is not moving, that what? At a certain stage it will move. Why it is decomposed? But that dead child was moving and then died. How it became dead? Nonsense. The condition is the same. No movement. Why, how, how do you say dead? Why do you say dead? The distinction is it was not moving, and it is now not moving. Why do you call dead? Say a police society, how quickly can we help you? Well, it's the mother's choice to kill the child or not. If the child isn't born yet, it hasn't come to, to life in the world, so the mother has this responsibility. If he, she can kill it or not, because it's her thing, her child, her production, so she can kill it or not. So I can kill you. I'm a guru. Yes. Who can say anything? I can kill you. Why police is there? I can say, he is my disciple, he has fully surrendered. I can kill him. Will that argument save me from police action? No. So the child is so dependent on the mother, if the mother mistreats the opportunity, she also is punished. But if the child would cause the mother so much anxiety... Don't talk like this. Don't talk of that. It is a waste of time. If it is, if it is the property of the mother, the mother can kill at any time. Why at a certain point, if the mother kills child, she is hanged? If the mother has got the liberty to kill the child, she can kill at any time. Well, it's just a tumor. It's like a tumor. Then why is there that it is mother's right to kill? And tumor, can you bring life in tumor? Kick simply on their face, on their nose. That is the only thing. To treat with a mukkasal Such fools in the society, they should be hanged. Misleading the whole population.
Even the big, big philosophers simply say that life doesn't start until it comes out of the womb. They're just convinced of it. Hmm? They're just convinced of it. No matter what argument you give, they're just simply convinced. How they can... Hmm? Prabhupada's argument is that if life is not there in the womb, then how it develops? Yeah, that is the point. Just like the eggs, if there is no life, how, how the chicken comes? Why don't you manufacture an egg and bring life from it? That was the other day I was talking. So that is you, because you are tenth class rascal, you cannot understand how the life is there. A seed, it takes a seed. Unless there is life, how a big tree comes out of it. You manufacture something like that, imitating, and bring life. Life is there. Because you are tenth class rascal, you do not know. They also bring up the insane argument that that life. Insane is... argument. Oh, we, have, we have no time to. He has such insane But these demons, Prabhupada, they pose themselves as being very religious. They pose themselves as being very religious. How do I They cite scripture? Chari is also devilish. <laughs> because the scientist cannot immediately accept authority of the Bhagavatam, that it will take hundreds of years. Less intelligence, no intelligence. Therefore, I was quoting that. Kabir Varav, Stakkari, Sankhya, Purusam, Pushpati. This class of scientists and so they are eulogized by a small rascals. They are rascals. Actually happening. Just like your president Nixon. Eh? How he was being given reception and crowd, hundreds and thousands of people used to come. And then again, get him down, making him humiliated as far as possible. So the this is a rascal Nixon and the person who lifted him. Therefore the Bhagavad says. Kabir Varahu Stakkari Samsuya. Here he is one big animal and a small animal devotee. Yes, sir. This is society. Animals. The small animals present the big animals. All of them are animals. Animals also prey on the small animals. Huh? The yes, mutual praising society. Yes. I pray, you very pray. I say, you are very big, you say, I am very big. And compromise. I don't criticize you, you don't criticize me. Yes, sir. 